Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And today I'm giving you a couple of movie reviews plus my Throwback Thursday movie review, which this week I have chosen the movie In Time. Now this movie was released on October 28th, 2011. It is a sci-fi action film that has received positive to mixed reviews from critics. Currently holds a average grade of a B- minus on CinemaScore. Roger, uh, Roger Ebert of the Chicago Times sometimes gave it a 3 out of 4 stars. It has a 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb, a 36% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 91% on Google. Uh, the movie had a $40 million budget. It made $174 million at the box office. And it was written and directed by Andrew Nichol, and it stars Justin Timberlake, Johnny Galecki, Amanda Seyfried, Cillian Murphy, and Jesse Lee Soffer. In this movie, we find um, our world where you work for time. Uh, the lower you are on the uh, totem pole, the harder you got to work to stay alive. And uh, in this movie, we find our main character, Will, played by Justin Timberlake, who lives with his mom. He works in a factory uh, with his best buddy, uh, Borel, played by Johnny Galecki. And he has dreams of getting him and his mom out of the lower class and into the upper class. Uh, but he finds himself basically digging a hole because um, the harder they work, the more time uh, it costs them for their bills, their rent. That's how they pay for everything. And in this movie, the time is on their wrist. It's in green. And once it hits zero, you, you just die right on the spot. Um, I've always appreciated this movie. I think it's very underrated. I don't think it gives, gets the love that it deserves. I love this concept of uh, have, using time as currency. Now, there's always some rich people in, this, uh, in the world that uh, want to take advantage. And that's what they usually do. They're corrupt people. In this movie, and you have Will who is wanting to flush them out and be done with it. So, as we see this character go out through the movie, he's rushing to meet his mom because she's about out of time. And with that, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything else as far as that goes. But Will comes across this young man who has some of the longest time uh, ever given to a human and decides to give it to Will because he has had enough. And uh, this movie takes you on a wild ride and it, it just goes to show you how hard the lower middle class will fight uh, for survival. And uh, I love the character of Will in this movie. I also love... Uh, the character of Sylvia, played by Amanda Seyfried, who is uh, rich, of course, and lives far away from the lower class. Uh, they end up uh, meeting Will and Sylvia do. Will's there to gamble with his time and uh, to try and bust a lot of people, basically. Uh, throughout this movie, they are chased by timekeepers. Most notably ones who are very interested as to how he attained all this time. And uh, that's the movie in the nutshell. I, like I said, I love the characters, the writing, directing. Although there were at some time some copyright uh, issues, uh, supposedly. But eventually it all got dropped and worked out. Uh, but nevertheless, this is a very underappreciated sci-fi action movie in my opinion and uh, I definitely think you guys will love it if you actually give it a chance and watch the movie so with that I gave in time an 8 out of 10 and uh, two thumbs up so definitely check this movie out 
in the comment section below if you've seen it. Give me your thoughts and opinions. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you like this review, hit that like button. But stay tuned for a couple more movie reviews. I thank you guys for watching, and check you later.